I guess about two and a half to three years ago, um, there was a call from the Arts Council, kind of in conjunction with the university, um, Birmingham City University, to uh, inviting people to propose uh, an artist-led space for Birmingham that they would sort of between them fund, the, rather than it being just a kind of a kind of a gallery, a standard kind of sort of white cube, whatever gallery. It's kind of a lot more of a kind of um, experimental project in and of itself. So there's kind of um, from the yeah the kind of architecture to the yeah the toilets, the uh, uh, the program, the door handle, the lighting, and they're all kind of integral to each other and how the space kind of evolves and, and develops. The project uh, is headed by Gavin Wade. I think you kind of get to a point where you feel like you kind of generally you kind of know what's going on in the city and who the people are who are doing things and stuff like that. For, for the size of the city, there are not that many. Um, sort of artists really or ice led spaces and things like that and hopefully Eastside somehow sits between um, uh, a kind of more institutional kind of space like Icon who are very good as well I think at kind of looking at what's going on and keeping tabs on that um, and uh, a kind of more um, a kind of the sort of more given kind of idea of what an artist led space is, I guess. I was involved in a kind of now defunct artist led space called B16, um, which um, was kind of quite, I guess, in a way, it was kind of a, a kind of good experience, sort of. I mean, it's kind of there's something kind of depressing about how it was kind of left to kind of rot. That I mean, I think part of the idea about uh, East Side was that. It was to kind of question what an artist dead space can be, and I hope that that's what happens. People come in and and and, and you know the possibilities for what an artist dead space can and, and should be. Um, people are you know just completely aware that there are several different ways we, you can go with it, um, and it doesn't have to necessarily be a thing where it's kind of a few people kind of scrapping around for a bit of cash, you know. I'm a real big fan of a lot of these sort of um, places like uh, uh, the Green Street space that uh, Gordon Matter Clark was involved in, kind of in the 1970s, and um, just these kind of really kind of experimental kind of things where they just started doing projects and did show, you know. Yeah. And I think, yeah, just uh, you know, there's kind of this kind of historic historical precedents with just really interesting ways of. Of opera, which you know you can't necessarily always do now because of the way access to buildings are um, certainly safe. And, and I think now I think nowadays there's a lot more of this idea of um, what professionalism like is, and, and kind of if you're an artist-led space, you have to kind of sort of operate and, and promote yourself or, um, or just market yourself in a, a certain way. But um, we think sometimes it's it's kind of useful, but other times maybe it's sort of slightly detrimental to projects. Yeah. Yeah.